post-racial, and right. then along came Donald Trump. So you explain how the, the 45th president ha has performed what you call a public service when it yes. comes to racism. Well, I think a phrase I use is that before, under Obama, and even before President Obama, uh, people had what I call plausible deniability. They could say, well, racism is no, no longer a pervasive problem. We have a black president. Well, when you have a President Trump in office with the, trip, the tweets, with the statements out of Charlottesville, we have to face race now in this country. Hi, Benji here, and I'm going to explain what digital blackface is. Digital blackface is when non-black people use images or emojis of black people to express emotion online, often extreme ones like anger or disbelief. Sometimes images are edited to indicate blackness for this purpose. The intent may be innocent, but digital blackface, like the original use of blackface, exploits blackness through media for entertainment. The overuse of these images also reinforces negative stereotypes that drive racial discrimination. We can use images of people that are a different race. It's okay to enjoy popular culture. We should just be conscious of the impact the media that we share online may have on communities with less privilege. For example, if you find you always use images of black women to express sass, consider the negative stereotypes you're reinforcing and how this might reflect your own unconscious biases and try a different image next time. Hope that helps. Bye. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got another clown world headline to talk about, guys. Courtesy of the Communist News Network, aka CNN. Okay, as you have a alleged CNN analyst here. Uh, and I'm using alleged to the word analyst, right? Uh, who's suggesting that uh, some people, aka white people, are guilty of digital blackface uh, for posting memes of black people, right? So if you're white and you post a meme of a black person, okay, of a black face, then you are guilty of committing digital blackface. And therefore, you are also committing a form of an insidious contemporary racism absolutely incredible stuff right absolutely incredible it reminds me of the time when the whole eliza blue situation was happening right you remember the internet backlash from the woman who <laughs> claims that she was sex trafficked however you know people didn't really believe her okay based off some of her past actions and behaviors and things that surfaced towards the internet and then she went on this censorship campaign of anybody that was criticizing her um she claimed that anybody posting pictures of her that were publicly available on the internet of her in i guess a bikini or whatever okay of this rap video that she claims you know she was trafficked in uh you're guilty of committing digital sex trafficking right digital sex trafficking again the woke revolutionaries will just make up anything nowadays right they'll just make up anything as some form of victimhood and again this is some pretty mind-numbing stuff right here that we have coming out of cnn i can't believe that they actually are paying somebody to come up with this type of nonsense where apparently if you're white and you post memes featuring black people then you're racist right that's a form of racism and digital blackface and that just naturally begs the question of what is this cnn author okay whose name is john blake what does he think about men trying to be women right does he think that that's a form of sexism right is a drag queen a form of sexism again i, I wonder how far are we taking this right because if we're going to be consistent logically let's be all the way logically consistent and you know hey maybe we should just start calling transgender women and drag queens sexist right because again that seems to be where we're going with this right but of course they're not going to do this because none of this makes logical sense right nothing makes sense in cuckoo for cocoa puff progressive world again absolutely ridiculous stuff so without further ado let's read about this cnn analyst john blake argued that a white person who posts a gif video or photo post that contains a black public figure could be perpetuating racism quote maybe you shared that viral video of kimberly sweet brown wilkins telling a reporter after narrowly escaping an uh, apartment fire quote ain't nobody got time for that Perhaps you posted that meme of supermodel Tyra Banks exploded in anger on America's next top model. Quote, I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. Or maybe you've simply posted popular gifts such as one of the NBA great Michael Jordan crying or of drag queen RuPaul declaring girl he wrote in an article published Sunday. Quote, 
if you're black and you've shared such images online, you get a pass. If you're white, you may have inadvert inadvertently perpetuated one of the most insidious forms of contemporary racism, he continued. Yeah, so what does that actually mean, right? I, I really don't have a clue. I think what it means is that white people are not allowed to have fun while black people are, okay? I think that's what a whole lot of this, you know, anti-white um, kind of pushback is coming from here. Uh, which is that, hey, we just don't want white folks to have fun, okay? You can't make jokes if you're white, <laughs> right? Uh, you can't even post memes if you're white, okay? There's certain words you can't say, okay? You have to walk on eggshells anytime you're around a so-called person of color. Uh, I just think all of this is to make a white person's life as miserable as possible, right? You can't have fun at all if you're white, right? All the rules for you and no rules for anybody else, okay? I, I think that's what a lot of this is. I really do. Um, again, this is just absolutely ridiculous. It really is. Uh, but what is digital blackface and how can people know when they're allegedly guilty of perpetuating it? Essentially, Blake defines the term as exaggerated racialized reactions <laughs> mocked at the expense of the person committing the action or uttering a particular phrase or more specifically, white people mocking blackness. Quote, digital blackface is a practice where white people co-op online expressions of black imagery, slang, catchphrases, or culture to convey comedic uh, relief or express emotions, Blake continued. Yeah, so, uh, again, I got a question about this. If you are black and you post a meme of a white person to do all those things, right, to convey comedic relief or to express emotions, are you guilty of committing whiteface, right? Are you guilty of committing racism towards whites? Again, um, I'm pretty sure this person wouldn't make the same argument in reverse, right? Which tells you exactly how silly a lot of this stuff is, okay? It's just, again, another attack on white people just because people want to be able to basically control anything a white person says and control their behavior, right? And it really is uh, getting to the point now where, again, it's just, it's just dumb, right? It's just dumb. And this stuff should be mocked and laughed at. Uh, and, and rightfully so, because again, this is just silly at this point, okay? It, it really is. Uh, he quotes Teen Vogue author and cultural critic Lauren Michelle Jackson, who identified the alleged form of stereotyping as some white people's tendency to view black people as walking hyperbole and granting black characters or personalities no subsidy in uh, media portrayals. Okay, yeah, so again, this is a popular meme right here. Now, apparently, if you post this, then you're racist, right? If you're white and you post this, you're racist, <laughs> okay? Again, ridiculous. Uh, the critique uh, culminates into slamming the trend as a, quote, modern-day repackaging of menstrual shows or, in other words, racially insensitive theater from the 19th century, frequently depicting black characters in stereotyped, embellished, and mocking fashion. Yeah, so, again, uh, what's the takeaway here? That black people are uh, soft snowflakes, right? They can't take white people posting memes with black faces, right? Because black people are that soft and fragile, right? They need to be coddled and protected at all costs from anything that the mean white man can do or say, right? Even if it's just post a meme. Again, if you're black, you know, hey, I, I feel like, you know, me personally, I'm offended by this, right? I'm offended by how these people think that society needs to treat black people with kid gloves, whether it comes to, you know, again, you can't post memes, right? Uh, black people are too stupid to uh, get an ID to vote. Uh, black kids are too dumb to compete with everybody else in school. Um, you know, again, this hard bigotry of low expectations uh, is so prevalent among liberals and progressives. And in this case, this guy John Blake is, is, is black, allegedly. Um, seems to me that, you know, again, he thinks that black people are snowflakes. They can't handle jokes and memes but jackson's comments aren't the only source of blake included in his takedown of digital blackface a link to an academic paper from aaron wong titled digital blackface how 21st century internet language reinforces racism extends the list of allegedly racist meme templates uh gifs and uh images including Oprah winfrey's excited oprah gif the confused nick young meme and another of uh, Mariah Carey reading, I don't know her. <laughs> is Mariah Carey even black? <laughs> right? Is she? I don't know. Maybe she is. 
uh, brand designer Elizabeth uh, Halford, who wrote a letter uh, apologizing for perpetuating digital blackface in 2020, is quoted as saying she is more careful with the memes and gifts of black people she chooses to share now. But according to Blake, she struggles to keep black uh, public figures out of her memes uh, and gifts entirely. Yeah, because, I mean, there's a lot of memes and gifts of black people, right? It's just funny. Okay, it's funny. I mean, it's, it's meant to be comedy. It's meant to be jokes. But again, you know, um, we've seen this before in, in comedy where you can't make jokes about black folks, right? Specifically black women, right? If you make jokes about black women, that's a form of violence, right? Quote, those memes with uh, black public figures are the most effective because white people are so boring, she said, according to the piece. Blake narrows the definition at one point, arguing that anything perpetuating black people as loud, dumb, hyperviolent, or hypersexual, they're breaching digital blackface territory. Well, uh, how about all the other black people that portray black people as that, specifically when it comes to sexual stuff? Um, are black women that post themselves twerking and doing sexual things, are they committing racism against themselves? Or it's only white people when they post that or something like that uh, is when it's racist or when it's a problem. Again, amazing how this works. When he posted to Twitter, critics lashed out at his claims for allegedly perpetuating racism and division. Quote, I've been black and I've been black my whole life. I have never read any something stupider than this, Florida Republican Laverne Spicer wrote. Phil Heath, a popular bodybuilder and seven-time Mr. Olympia winner, chimed in with, right, this is ridiculous now. Everything has to do with race. is now becoming more apparent than ever. Uh, reporter uh, Tahana uh Pasalik wrote, quote, I am once again asking Elon Musk to give us a parody or real button. And actor uh, Damon Gonzalez said, quote, what if you are a mixed race like me? I live in, I live for Nene Leakes. She has the best one-liners, smart AF. Why can't I admire and use her image? And what if I use a female GIF? Am I uh, sexist? Stop with the labels. We all know if someone is truly being offensive. Others accused the piece of trying to erase black people from popular culture. Uh, those writing in support of the piece said the article gave them a perspective on something they had not previously considered, a.k.a. Um, how to hate themselves even more, right? How to walk on more edge shells around black folks, right? Again, this is silly. Uh, another example of how the term racist has been watered down to basically anything that the left disagrees with or anything that could possibly hurt the feelings of so-called people of color um, is really ridic ridiculous, and these people should not be taken seriously, right? They just should be taken seriously. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.